everybody welcome to our channel so uh one of the questions that i get a lot is how i style my plants and um i kind of find that difficult to answer in a way because i don't really feel like i style them but um i guess that's technically what it is when you're you know picking and choosing the layout and how you want everything to be so i figure i would just show you one section of my front room that i'm really liking how um, it has turned out and everything that I've put together. And I'll just give a little talk through of how I, um, you know, set up style, position, however you want to call it, my plants within my space. So this is my office space here. And then this is, let me move back so you can see. This is the wall that has uh, the TV so just come up closer here so what i like to do when i am setting up my plants is i like to have different levels and obviously by that i mean different heights um so here you can see i have this Deffenbachia here it's elevated and then here and this planter i have my Cebu blue pothos and that's um down to a lower level now I also like unique things in terms of like <clears throat> shapes or style of planter. My husband actually got this for me at a garage sale. I think it's um, actually an outdoor planter and it has the piece where the basket can hang. And I had it that way for a while, but I put it down, took the basket off and I put the plant down here because I wanted it to trail. As you can see, I need to start wrapping it. And so I have that. This is just a stand from lows because i wanted some height and so that's i've had that for a while that's bounced around from plant to plant so i do that and then here on my tv stand i've kind of turned into like my propagation station so i have these glass uh bud bases and i use those obviously to propagate and then i have this here this like um faux like milk glass farmhouse style it says farm or home or something on the other side i don't like the words but i like the bottles so i put that there with some propagations in it and then i have some cuttings right here this is a votive candle holder with burlap wrap and um i think yes my husband got me those two and that's those two things here are from as well as these they're from dollar general i find a lot of things there <clears throat> in their home um like home accessories aisle that aren't technically always meant for plants but i always have that in mind when i see them so that's where those are from and just a note here i like to mix textures as well so you can see you have like the um you know the ceramic and the burlap and the wood i like touches of um different tones of wood throughout as well <clears throat> excuse me and so i keep that in mind move closer here for you um the propagations i mean i don't really they are what they are i like to trail long pieces or rather i like to propagate long trailing pieces and so um whatever is in here switches depending on what cuttings um i've taken and then i have another wood piece back here it was down here but against <laughs> my wishes no i'm just kidding my husband has to have a spot for his game so i put that back there now these are some of like my, my favorite little sections up here of course you know i have the picture um of me and my family and <clears throat> excuse me i like to put things in clusters and um you know still with the same like varying heights and different materials so i have some um, marimo balls and a couple of different cool little containers this one's actually thrifted this one was from dollar general as well this one here is from dollar general it's actually an oil diffuser but it looks like a little um which one is that supposed to be i know the scent is vanilla so i put that there because i like the smell and i like the way it looks and then these two here are upcycled bottles i just took and wrapped some twine around there and then um there's a candle back there that i got that for i like to stagger um 
little clusters of things like that. Um, I have a propagation here, a little string of turtles. And so that's pretty much how I set everything up. Now, this is just, in my mind, the way I, what I think looks better. But I normally like to put an odd number. So usually in like, I'll do like a collection of like three or um, five are usually my go-to. But since I've been adding stuff over here, I'm kind of fine with it, um, even though it's not done like that, like I normally do. And then same thing over here, I have a candle. Um, my hydrometer is back there. This is actually an oil burner um, that I use, and I like the color of that. This is was um, gifted to me by my mother, and I intend for it to be a terrarium. I haven't found the perfect plant for it yet, so it sits there just like that. And then I do have a propagation back there. And then moving over this way, I have my huge anthurium and it's on a wood stand. Um, once again, I like the contrast of the wood with the various materials. This one is a, a ceramic and it has a print on it also. So that one is really nice. Over here, I kind of just follow um, the same method. I like black and white um, pots, neutrals. Um, so you see like a lot of whites, browns, and I have like the Ray Dunn in that black and white theme. And then I'll put a pop of color here and there, usually a yellow or a blue. So we have this set up like this here. Um, I always have propagations around. This is actually a thrifted bottle. And then I have my salt lamp, a couple of crystals, and Mr. Frog here. And this one I like here because um, prayer marances are very sculptural looking. So I like it having its own shelf over here and it can just kind of like branch out and take over. This shelf is wood, solid wood. Um, it was painted black. I had thought about painting it a different color. Um, this came from the same yard sale as the heart planter. But once it got in here, I liked it black. And so I just left it that way. So um, I have a painting back here. My best friend painted that. And then some propagations at the bottom. So I just keep the same thing in mind, mixing textures um, of plants, um, prints with the leaves and things like that. As long as there are plants that um, can take similar lighting and similar um, like humidity needs, then I cluster them based on that. I do have, and I'll show, um, I'll show you in a second on the other side of the room, plants that will have different humidity needs so they have to be put together so I don't really style them that much um, but I still try to keep to what I like and then just coming up the wall here I have these which are super cool it's a crystallized snake skeleton I got it from an artist on Instagram and so I hung those there and then these rattan um, oh what is it the water hyacinth they're, uh, I think they're technically chargers, but um, I wanted to put them on the wall. And so I did that. Those are also from Dollar General as, as well. Here to this section, I'm filling up the humidifier tank, so that's why it's not there. But this is another wall that I love too. This is in my front room as well. And same thing, um, I like staggered heights mixture of textures as far as i have um you know the raw wood this table i really love that's from um goodwill and it's just super cute and you can't really see because of the plants but the actual spindles on this leg match the black shelf on the other side so that worked out well too so i just like things to tie in um together that way then i have some ray dunn sprinkled in here and this is the piece for my humidifier and um yeah so that's what i like to do um you have different textures different style of plants i have some terracotta some white ceramic now these are the ones i was saying these just have to be here because they need the humidity and so i wouldn't say these are particularly styled but this is an example of um grouping your plants out of necessity as well but i did bring this over here because i felt like this corner needed some height i had originally the um another a different type of evergreen flanked on this side 
but I felt like it needed some height over here. So I put that there and I think that it worked out very well. And what else? I have um, this wood sculpture. I also thrifted from Goodwill. So I have that in there. because so I think it just adds a nice flair. This is a DIY pot that I actually made. We have some more Ray done. And then I really like this plant stand. This one is from Home Goods. And I just thought that that was really cute. And so I have that in there to offer me some height once again. So that's pretty much how I put together my um, styling or whatever. Um, the main thing I would say is first, <clears throat> think practically. If you know you have plants that need that extra boost of humidity and they need to be closest to the humidifier, then put those together. Um, but then outside of that, I would say stagger your textured plants um, in terms of the print on the leaves. You can kind of mix it up a little bit and then just take other, you know, cool, unique pieces or whatever that you like, even though it may not technically be for a plant. And then, you know, just pop it in there amongst the plants. Some people do fairies, they do dolls. I've seen someone who she took rocks and she like painted and decorated them and she had those staggered around crystals. So it's pretty much, you know, whatever flair that you want to add to it. But <clears throat> most important is to make sure the plants are placed in a, a space where they not only look good, but where they're going to be able to be maintained well and they have everything that they need. So that's it for my how I style my plants. I hope that was informative for you all. And let me know in the comments how you go about styling your plants in your home. Um, are there any special special uh, requirements you have or is there anything specific you like to stick to? Or also, is there a theme that you like to keep kind of throughout your space? All right. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.